pineapples. Even on sale, they ain't cheap. But what if there's a way to grow your own from an existing pineapple top? Well, there is. And I know there is because I did it in the video last summer where I showed you how to root your own pineapple top from an existing pineapple that you buy from the grocery store. But that video was flawed. Very flawed. The success rate was so low. And unless the conditions were perfect, those pineapple tops would not root. So... Fast forward to today, I've trialed about 30 different pineapple tops with 100% success rate. I found the definitive method for taking an existing pineapple, cutting off the top, and rooting it into a new pineapple plant. Let me show you how to do it in a couple easy steps, and it starts right now. To start off with, you're going to need three things. You're going to need a sharp knife. Of course, you'll need your carefully selected pineapple. And finally, you're going to need a jar of water. Now, if you're just joining us, you're going to want to select the right pineapple for the job. The best pineapples for this are ones that are ripe, but not overripe. So they want to be somewhat firm to the touch without being rock hard. As well, you're gonna want minimal brown leaves and a nice big crown of foliage. Select those three things and you'll have the most success rooting a new pineapple plant from the top. Begin by cutting off the pineapple top with your sharp knife leaving about half an inch of that meat remaining. Save that pineapple fruit for eating later, leaving us with that beautiful, familiar whirl of foliage. Next, cut that small slice of extra fruit that's attached, leaving just the foliage intact. And here's where the magic happens. Begin by peeling all of those interwoven leaf layers away from the pineapple top. And while it looks brutal when you first do it, like you're going to kill the plant, trust me, you won't. Peel all those leaves back exposing the entire stalk. At the end, you should be left with only about five to seven of those large leaves remaining. In the end, it hardly resembles a pineapple top at all. So now that we've taken all that foliage off, you want to put the pineapple plant in the water. Now, that might be a little bit deep. You can see where the water level went up to, so I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this out. Place that jar of water with your pineapple top in a warm location, preferably around 85 degrees Fahrenheit. After about three days, the stalk will oxidize and turn a reddish brown color. Within about two weeks, little white root nodules will begin to appear on the side of that stalk. And after about a month, the root system just explodes. It's quite amazing. And it's at this point, you know you successfully rooted that pineapple top. If you guys look closely inside the center, you will actually see the small pineapple shoot beginning to form. Now you know the plant is ready for soil and ready to pot up. But wait, what if you don't see that shoot? Well, begin to inspect. Because some pineapple tops 
will actually send out their shoots to the sides of the stem. Either way, once that shoot appears, you know you're ready to pot these things up. Begin by removing every single one of those old leaves. They are no longer necessary and they will begin to rot anyways. Inside, you'll see that perfect miniature pineapple plant. Select a good sized pot to give that new pineapple plant room to grow. Myself, I usually go for a one to two gallon pot initially. Line that pot with either a pot liner or newspaper and begin to fill it with a quality organic potting mix. Fill that pot right to the top without compressing. Next, use your jar with the pineapple top to make a nice hole. This hole will be a perfect size to place your new young pineapple plant in. Place that plant in the hole and compress all the soil in and around it. Now, you're gonna need to add some more soil around the plant because you're gonna wanna bury that bulbous stem. Take care though to leave that new young shoot above the soil level. Your new pineapple plant should be able to live in this pot for roughly eight to 12 months, after which time you'll need to move it on to a larger pot. As pineapples are actually tropical plants, you're gonna need to place that pot back on the heat for about three to four weeks, ensuring that it gets established. And as always, you need to water from below. The whole process can take anywhere from about a month to 10 weeks, but it's super easy. It's a rewarding project to do with kids, but most of all, it's just fun. Hey guys, hit those like, share, and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind, and I'll see you in the next video.